Guys, Kev here, and I have a uh, unboxing to do. Uh, just got this package in today. Got my Lacroix here, key lime flavor. <sighs> Big fan of that one. Uh, but yeah, so this package here is from a good friend, a new friend uh, that I've recently been chatting with on Instagram. His name is Joe, and uh, he does have a YouTube channel. He is the Knife Licker. So you may have heard him called the Knife Whisperer, but uh, he recently changed his name to the Knife Licker. Um, I guess he likes to lick knives. Uh, I've seen him play around with puppets and stuff. Um, so he's a bit of a goofball. <laughs> I'm just messing around. Uh, Joe's a great guy, the Knife Whisperer. He's a great guy. Uh, he's pretty new to the YouTube stuff. I would say half a year, maybe. Um, I've seen him a lot on uh, the Knife Junkie and just kind of around in different uh, groups and stuff. And uh, we recently started chatting. And uh, he's just a great guy. So we're going to probably start sending knives back and forth or trading um, and doing that kind of stuff. So I'm really glad I got this in. Now, this is actually from... One knife in here is from the Apex Pass Around Group. I want to shout out to Blade Banter. Um, he is uh, the guy, David. He runs the Apex Pass Around Group. There's a bunch of channels involved that are part of it. And basically, you know, uh, a manufacturer will supply a knife for review. And David will come up with a list of all the knives. And if you want to review it, you just put your name in. And then the knives start getting sent around uh, from each channel to channel. So the knife liquor had this one before me. Um, and that's and then I'll send this off to the next guy. And it just kind of goes like that. So one knife in here is from the Apex Pass Around Group. Excuse me. And I believe there's another one in here from uh, Joe that he wanted me to check out. It's one of his personal knives. So... The unboxing knife today is going to be the Wee Banter. So you may or may not have seen the unboxing of this knife. Um, I, I haven't posted it yet and it's coming, but um, it's so funny because I unboxed it and I liked it. I liked it, but I wasn't in love with it. I had some issues with it and I still have some nitpicks and I'll get into that in my first repre uh, first impression, sorry. Uh, but the more I've carried this, and I've carried it every day since I got it, um, the more I carry it, the more I love it. It's another uh, right-hand only carry knife that I missed out on because I was too worried about getting reversible clips or lefty only knives. Um, I've really kind of turned a corner on that. I will definitely check out right-hand only knives uh, to an extent, but man, I'm glad I, I ended up picking one of these up. Um, so that unboxing will be posted soon, I promise. Uh, all right, let's get into the Knife Liquors package here. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, with all the COVID stuff going on, I wonder if I should like douse this in alcohol or something, because, you know, Joe, he might have just, he might have been like licking these knives all up and down and stuff. Ooh, man. It's kind of gross to think about a knife licker, isn't it? Who knows where that's knife? Who knows where that knife's been, Joe? All right. Anyway, enough with my hilarious jokes, huh? So the first package, or the first knife here from the knife licker is the VDK Strix. This is the one from the Apex Pass Around Group. And I have been very excited about this knife. Um, so I'm really excited to check it out here. This is the Strix. I believe it is made by Wee, if I'm getting that right. Um, Vlad is the guy behind VDK. So really cool piece here. This is in M390. So you'll see the M390 marking there and you'll see VDK there. Um, it's a thin handled knife. So that is always a concern as a lefty because of lock bar pressure. Uh, we are 
pretty much dead centered. Might be a tad off to the show side, but it looks pretty much centered to me. You have a cool black clip, cool black hardware, and then this like greenish teal uh, anodization on the titanium. So very cool design. Let's give her a flip. Okay, so it comes out of there pretty good. It is bigger than I thought. I was expecting a very small knife from the other videos I've seen, but I can get a full grip on this. See? So I can get a full grip. And then the jimping is interesting. This is right off the bat, the jimping is down here, right? So with my hand in the full grip, I have to kind of push my thumb back to this ramp to use that. So they're kind of forcing me to do that when I would really prefer to be up here. If they had put jimping right here, it would be even better, in my opinion. Um, we have a cool Tanto blade here. I mean, look at this thing. This is crazy. Um, I'm a big fan of the Tantos lately. I've had a few in. Uh, my Chavez 229 has a cool Tanto. Um, the Satori 2.0 from uh, uh, Custom Knife Factory I recently got has a sweet Tanto. The Micro Evo from Sharp by Design had a cool Tanto. I actually went ahead and sold that knife already. Uh, it just was too tiny for me, and I had a buddy who wanted it. So I apologize if you were looking forward to the review on that one, but the Evo is gone. Anyway, very cool Tanto out to this really aggressive tip. And I love how the, the Tanto grind goes down. You get this really nice point right here so you can dive into things you don't want to, you know, put a giant hole in. And then it just, like, shoots up into this huge i mean it, i don't even know how to explain it but this grind right here is amazing um so you you have a hollow grind here a cool swedge up here flats right here and then this looks to be yep this is a flat grind out here um uh, this is really cool now i've heard the closing action on this is really good oh yeah wow so right-handed You can see it drop. So I'm not having issues with the lock bar pressure. That's good. I mean, I can push down down here and it still flies out. So I don't know if they engineered something now left handed. Let's see how that lock bar pressure is. No, there's no issue. Oh, geez. I almost closed it on myself. Yeah, there's no there's no issue with the lock bar pressure. This is great. I'm impressed because usually that's a big issue, but it's not. I can put pressure down all the way up here. Uh, I'll do it right hand. It's hard to see, but I can put pressure here and it still flips out. No problem. This is definitely a better knife right handed because you can see I can drop it onto my thumb and then let her drop and left handed because the action is so good. I have to push the lock bar over and control the blade, let it drop a little, get my hand out of the way and then close it. Cause I'm kind of afraid, let's see. Yeah, if I let this go here, it's gonna, oh no, it does hit my nail. So let's try that. All right, let's try that. So I'll push it over, flipper hits my nail, get out of the way. Okay, no, so that works pretty good right there. Interesting knife. This is really cool guys. I mean, definitely a thin knife off the bat. Um, a little thin for me, you know, right here. Like, I wouldn't want to use this knife heavily, but I don't use knives heavily, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but it is a little thin. Definitely a fun fidget toy, though, guys. This is a cool one to fidget with. And it looks like it would cut pretty dang good, too, with the uh, hollow grind here. So that is the VDK Strix, guys. That's really cool. I'm pretty sure these were, like, I think it was $350 I heard they were. So a bit pricey, but you do get uh, titanium M390. Some great grind work on the uh, Tanto there and fantastic action. I'm guessing that's because his blade is so heavy compared to this handle. I don't know, um, but really good action. Probably the best action I've seen from a knife made by Wii if they were the manufacturers. 
Uh, and the other knife here, this is the Knife Liquor's personal knife. Uh, I believe it's called the Riot Crossroads, if I'm remembering correctly from our conversation. Um, I forget who the designer is. He definitely told me. Um, there's another knife by this designer called the Augustus, I think. Um, is it Kirby Lambert? I think it might be Kirby Lambert. Don't hold me to that. But I think this is a Kirby Lambert design. And I'm going to find out because I think there's a maker's mark. Huh? Uh, really cool out the bat. Just uh, titanium with, uh, is that G10? It looks like G10 uh, on the handles here. Kind of like a bolster for the titanium. And then you have the G10 handle. Uh, cool clip here. Titanium milled clip. Seems pretty strong. We'll see how that does in pocket. Um, this is a Riot knife. Uh, it's actually marked with a Riot logo, which is interesting. Usually on their collaborations, they don't do that. It has a crazy looking backspacer. So you see that? That's pretty interesting but because it kind of floats in there. But then when you look at it from down here, you see that? That's a very interesting backspacer to me. So uh, we have a little jimping on the uh, flipper tab here. This is M390. So let's go ahead and flip her open. It is a bolster lock. Okay, so it's a very good flipper. Uh, detent was good. That's definitely a Riot uh, for sure there. They, they always dial in the, the detent. I am absolutely in love with Riot right now. I have a lot of them coming and uh, I've already got a lot of them in. So Riots are awesome. Uh, mainly their collaborations. I haven't really liked any of their uh, their own in-house designs yet, but I keep looking, so we'll see. So here's the Riot logo on this side. And it is Kirby Lambert. You have the Kirby Lambert spider there and name on the other side. It's a cool blade, uh, interesting swedge up here down into this tip. I guess I would call this a drop point. Um, the flats are nice. It's a good satin finish. The usual Riot quality on the uh, satin there. I guess it's a belt satin. And uh, let's close her up. So we're going to push the lock bar over, let it drop onto my thumb. And we haven't passed the detent, so we'll have to work on that and it swings shut right-handed easy to flip thumbnail boom very smooth knife definitely a drop shutter i'm not doing any work here once it gets past that detent and drops it for sure drops so that's nice left-handed it's very nice i can flip it out easily no issues with pressure Drop it onto my nail, pass the detent, give it a little shake to get over that detent, and then we're all the way home. So, really cool design, really cool knife here. Not necessarily my style of knife. Um, I'm not sure why, but I don't look at this and go, ooh, like I love the design, I have to have one. But I definitely can appreciate it. Uh, I could definitely appreciate the materials, the action, the build quality, all of that good stuff. It's really good action. Um, one thing I want to say right off the bat, ergonomically, is it's going to be interesting. Um, so you have this groove here for your index, groove here for your middle finger, and then back here, this swell for the rest. And it's comfortable, but to me, it feels like my middle finger wants to slide over more and can't because of that ridge right there. It's like pushing into that ridge somehow. I don't know how to explain that any better. And a finger choil. Oh, man, that would have been phenomenal on this knife. This feels really good. So a choil would have been fantastic. Uh, great edge on here. Yeah. So this is a cool knife. Uh, and then we had the VDK Strix. Let me get that back out for you guys. BDK Strix, Riot Crossroads, really cool knives. Uh, I really appreciate Joe for sending these out to me. 
Um, please, please go subscribe to the Knife Whisperer, a.k.a. Knife Liquor. And uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will catch you later.